Earth's fourth blast, yeah. Old Faithful and three volcanoes erupt in sudden chain reaction. The planet trembles. Shortly after midnight UTC, seismic stations from Wyoming to the Western Pacific detected a pulse of deep earthquakes. They weren't aftershocks of a single catastrophe, but a staggered wave of tectonic movement, a chain of magnitude 5.8 to 6.4, tremors that rippled through fault systems along the Pacific Ring of Fire and beyond. What drew immediate attention from geophysicists was not the strength of these quakes, but the targets. The hydrothermal underbelly of Yellowstone National Park. The magma chambers beneath the Philippine archipelago. And the already active hotspot beneath Hawaii. Within hours, multiple volcanoes began reacting as if Earth's crust had issued a call and magma was answering. Yellowstone, Old Faithful breaks its rhythm. At Yellowstone, seismometers recorded a sudden spike in ground acceleration. GPS instruments detected uplift around the upper geyser basin. What followed defied Old Faithful's legendary predictability. At 4.02 a.m. local time, the geyser didn't erupt. It detonated. A hydrothermal explosion, far beyond the scale of a routine eruption, blasted through weakened rock. Water superheated above 200 degrees C flashed instantly into steam, launching a violent jet over 200 meters high. The shock blew apart fragile sinter formations around the vent and cracked open fresh steaming fissures across the basin floor. Park rangers reported, boardwalk planks lifted off their supports. Gazer cones nearby began hissing and rumbling. Gas monitors detected a short-lived surge of carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. Though magma never surfaced, USGS scientists warned that this was not a tourist eruption, but a release of pent-up hydrothermal pressure that had likely been accelerated by crustal strain from the quake. The Philippines, twin giants, awaken. Tail volcano erupts after deep quake trigger. On Luzon Island, the quake's energy rattled the magma pools beneath Taal Volcano, a lake-filled caldera system already flagged at alert level two. Within three hours, harmonic tremor intensified, crater lakes boiled, and sulfur-rich plumes breached the sky. By sunrise, ashfall blanketed towns across Batangas province. Evacuations began around Volcano Island. Frieto magmatic bursts shot material in pulsed explosions hundreds of meters high. Steam-driven surges briefly displaced water in the crater lake. Volcanologists noted that trapped gases likely received a pressure jolt from the quake, pushing magma closer to the surface and destabilizing the shallow hydrothermal layers.
Mount Canleon joins the eruption timeline, roughly 500 kilometers south. Mount Canleon on Negros Island had been restless for months, spewing intermittent ash plumes and emitting volcanic tremor. Hours after Tal's escalation, Canleon followed with its own eruption pulse. Observers recorded a towering grey plume reaching 300-600 meters above the summit. A spike in over 80 volcano tectonic quakes in just one day. Incandescent glow at the crater during nightfall, suggesting shallow magma ascent. Schools and farms near its flanks shut down. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, 5OLCS, raised alert levels, citing the quake as a probable stress trigger. Hawaii, Kalawia surges into episode 34. Far across the Pacific, Kalawia, already in an ongoing eruption phase, reacted like a simmering pot nudged to boil. Within 12 hours of the seismic trigger, lava fountains doubled in height, some nearing 1,200 feet, 365 meters. New surface cracks opened along the East Rift Zone. Gas emissions surged, spreading fog across downwind communities. The summit caldera inflated measurably from magma pressurization. Locals familiar but ever watchful noted that the eruption had shifted from persistent to aggressive. Scientists logged it informally as the 34th eruptive episode since its latest cycle began. Are these events connected? Geologists caution that these are not dominoes falling in a straight line, but stresses traveling through a dynamic planet can prime volatile systems already near critical thresholds. Key scientific links include 1. Tectonic stress transfer, earthquakes, alter crustal pressure even across vast distances. For magma systems already unstable, even minor stress changes can trigger eruption or hydrothermal rupture. 